Hi guys, how you guys doing? Welcome to another episode of Camping with the Calvins. I'm Lee. Crystal's not here this weekend because I'm hanging out with the fellas. Uh, this weekend is all about my cousins and I. Uh, we're going to go and visit the Bourbon Trail out here in Louisville, Kentucky for the weekend. Run across quite a few distilleries and try to get our hands on a couple of things that you know most people can't really get in stores. Uh, so I'm going to take you guys along on this particular journey. Uh, we're staying in a Burbo out here in um, in Louisville. Nice town home. That's the kitchen right there. You know, <laughs> three floors. And I'm going to take my floor. It's killing me right now. But I'm going to go ahead and take you guys along with this weekend. So check us out. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'm going to try to do my best to show as much that I can in the distilleries. I'll show you a few things here and there. And um, hopefully I can score that, that escapable blank that everybody's been looking for. So stay tuned with us, okay? We got you. Yeah, yeah. All right, Jay. So um, we're here on a bourbon tour with you, uh, yeah. with my cousins and I, and um, just give us a little rundown on um, the company and yeah. and uh, what's entailed with the tour. 100%. No, it's, bourbon's booming, right? So people ever want to see it. Mm -hmm. Bourbon excursions, uh, what we do is give you that opportunity to get out and see what it's all about. The diversity of bourbon today with the old school ones like you saw with the castle here uh, mm -hmm. to the new modern ones yeah. so it's a it's a diverse we're gonna get out and do some touring get mm -hmm. all the education that's available to you guys do some tasting of course that's what you came for Definitely. Right? Definitely. and hopefully have an opportunity to find something maybe hard to find if you don't find it at your home mm -hmm. so that's that's really what we do uh, we try to get you all kentucky up and throw breads to bourbon and give you a good day on the on the trail. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we definitely have that already, I'll be honest with you. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been doing this, Jay? Well, I've been in the industry probably 14 years in the industry, working in the industry, and then working with bourbon excursions probably about six or seven years. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at about 20 years of uh, knowledge going on right here. Okay. 20 years of knowledge, all right, all right. And, and basically you got us going for the next two days, uh, about six or seven spots we're going to. Uh, we've already knocked out two already, right. and uh, we are already lit. <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you so much for that. I That's definitely it. appreciate well, you it. You got a driver. Have fun. Yep, yep, definitely, definitely. So, yeah. I mean, so with some guys that's coming in town, they may want to get in contact with yeah. you yeah. Uh, about booking a tour. How would you um, have the guys get in contact with you? Well, hey, jump on the obviously websites are a key. Mm -hmm. Excursions. Uh, jump on there. Okay. Obviously. You guys now have my contact. Yes. It's all good OJ, and I'll point you in the right direction to all get right. our team on board. Mm -hmm. And then they'll just lay out the plan, just like they did for you guys. Okay. Uh, They're going to lay out the plan, the locations, the stops, and make sure that you don't have to do anything but sit in the back, relax, and, and enjoy the and day. And enjoy. And then just to let you guys know, Jay has taken care of us, made sure we had plenty of water, yeah. uh, cooler for our beers, mm -hmm. and made sure we stopped and ate. The whole nine. So uh, basically, when you come out here for the bourbon tour, let's check out the bourbon excursions, tours, and transportation, and specifically ask for Jay. Okay, I have Jay's information. I will tag it on this video as well, so you guys can get in contact with them directly. So thanks, guys, for coming along with us, and thank you, Jay, for everything. We definitely appreciate you. Love to see you. Hope you join us soon. Oh, yeah. All right now. Thank you. All right, here we go. First stop, first stop. Wood, what, what, what is this? Woodward, Woodford Reserve? That's it. All right. First stop. Woodford Reserve. First stop. Oh, sorry. All right.
<laughs> warehouses and inside a warehouse we're going to age for a good amount of time time is a big factor we go anywhere from five years to nine years the average age of a barrel when it's met its flavor profile here is a little bit more than seven years and when it comes to temperature which is the other big factor with aging we have a unique heat cycling system in every one of our warehouses including They will turn on steam heat in the coldest winter months. So as soon as it gets cold enough in, say, December, they'll leave the heat on for a month, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off in cycles. And the reason for that, y'all can see on this stave I'm getting ready to pass around. So the one-inch thick edge of this stave, that's how thick a barrel is. There is a dark stripe that runs down that one-inch thick edge. That is the stain from where our whiskey has soaked to. Every millimeter, every extra layer of white oak, we saturate that barrel with whiskey. That's more flavor our whiskey will get from that oak, and that's a good thing. While visiting Buffalo Trace, we did a little bit of touring, tasting, and shopping. Unfortunately, we were not able to get our hands on a bottle of blends, but we did get an opportunity to taste it. It's a nice, smooth bodied bourbon that I would definitely recommend to anyone to get. Hopefully, next time on our next visit, we'll be able to get our hands on some. Welcome to Bullet Bullet, Bullet Distillery. During our visit to Bullet, 
you've learned a lot about their bourbon whiskey that they use a lot in different cocktails but it also likes to use a heavy rye based mash in their bourbons and gives it a, like, a nice little kick, a nice little spice to it. I particularly loved that 10 year old age bourbon that they had. It was very smooth, very easy to drink. And I definitely bought me a bottle. Hit me up guys on the campsite. I got a bottle sitting in that camp. I almost taste like some pineapple or something. Welcome to Maker's Mark. In my opinion, the best distillery we saw the entire weekend. I would definitely suggest to any and everyone who is interested in going on a bourbon tour to ask your tour guide to take you to Maker's Mark. They made sure that the customers were interactive with the entire tour. So check out what we went through and hopefully you enjoy what we enjoyed.
yellows for our grains and our mash bills, and even the color amber for the color of the bourbon also. And then Mr. Chihuly took it to the next level and placed about a few angel sheriffs throughout the piece. That's significant. That is for the uh, angel share that loss of evaporation during my maturation process. And on that note, friends, that is the conclusion of the 940 tour. Thank y'all so much. Yes! Guess what? Cash versus is on the right side of the building. Yes. All right. Once you buy that bottle, come back to the back of the house here. You got to see me. I got to get you dressed up in safety equipment. We'll get you up on stage. You can lift them bottles and your dreams will come true. Thank you all so much for coming to see us right this way, guys. Come Thank on. You. Halfway down. Halfway in. All right, one more, 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 more. Bring it out. Turn that off to the side. Turn quickly. All the way around, all the way down. Sit him upright. All right, so sit him upright, sit him down. And one thing that you did wrong is that whenever you bring it up, you need to bring it perpendicular because all your wax just went back down. The ah, so keep it to the side. Okay, I got you got it. You got it. You got it. So that's a good you got, you're a one hit wonder. Look at that. Don't, <laughs> don't be afraid, well, Mike. Get don't this. be afraid. In, out, side, turn all the way around. Oh, sit him down. Sit him down. <laughs> Oh my Lord, and, and that's a high, and listen, and, and, and this is a high school principal. Boy, well, I tell you, oh, no, I got you. I got your video, buddy. He, he, he was a high school principal. Uh, well, you did, well, you did good. Well, yeah, I got the drip on him. Drippy, drippy, drippy. Oh, you got a, you got a whole, a whole bunch of drip. Okay, thank you. That is funny. That is too funny. Did you get my picture on that? Uh, oh, I got your video. No, 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 but I got I got this for you. So I, I can only do one at a time. Look at that bottle. Boy, boy, boy. All right, so I'm, I'm down. Here, let me, I'll show you one more time. All right. Okay, go. Uh, Ian, Ian, bring it out. Gently. And then turn. One, two, and sit him down. And I'm gonna walk you, talk you through it. Okay? All right, let's see it. Let's see. Let's see if Mother Cuz can follow instructions. <laughs> All right, Quan, it's on you, buddy. No yes. pressure, man. No pressure. No pressure. Okay. Straight down and in. Uh, uh. You already starting off wrong. Turn to the side. Turn, to the side. Turn, turn, sit him up right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Take a second for the magic. That's yours. Yeah. Very good. So same thing. Thumb, two fingers to support right here. All right. Two fingers to support. Halfway in. All right. Come on, y'all laughing too much. Come on now. Get it out. Side. Turn, 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 turn. Sit him upright. There you go. Bam. Look at that. Yeah. That's a nice one. job. Look at that. Look at that. job. Oh, look at that. You did good. I need a job. I need a job. You did good. You did good. Yeah. I, I, I'm firing both it. of y'all. I love it. Look at that. I'm firing both of y'all. That's terrible. Oh, man. This is oh, beautiful. That's, good. that's <laughs> terrible. Gloves, please, back in the pocket. And you're going to head off that way. If you'll give it back to Chad over there, I'll bag it up and hand it to you right here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Closing out the tour, we had an opportunity to visit the Four Roses and the iconic Jim Bean Distilleries. I hope you guys enjoyed the journey that we had. Check out the rest of our photos.
had another successful trip. I got to say this bourbon tour was was phenomenal. Um, <laughs> we had a great time for the last two days uh, going out and, and learning a lot. I didn't know anything about bourbon at all before this trip. And I, I feel I've, I've gained a lot of knowledge, lesson, um, admiration for what these people do. Um, went out here on the guys' trip for, for the weekend with my cousins, Michael, Quan, and uh, one of Michael's friends, Gaylord. And we had a blast, people. A blast. Thanks out and shout out to, to um, Jay Lilly from Bourbon Excursions um, Tours and Transportation. <laughs> Man, Jay is extremely knowledgeable uh, with everything bourbon and made sure we were taken care of well. So I, I would really suggest that you guys get in contact with Jay. I'll have his information in the um, description. Also, I'll probably have some of his information along in this video as well. Or at least I should have. Um, for you guys to give him a call if you're ever in the area. But this was a great trip. This was a great trip. So until next time, guys, we'll see you on the next trip. Thank you for coming along. If you like what, we, what you see here today, please think about liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing. I um, would greatly appreciate your support. So until next time, thanks for Peace out, and thank you for coming along with Camping with the Cowboys. This episode of the Camping. Until next time.